and on this video we're doing an update on the Mark 1 Twingo. It's had a few issues. So since the last video on this car, um, I've actually driven it to Manchester and back again. Um, I uh, took it up there to see some friends and uh, on the way there everything was fine and then I got to my friends and parked it up on the, uh, his drive and went into town, into Manchester Town Centre and came back and noticed a, a pool of liquid underneath it and it turns out that there was a, a, a coolant problem and basically what I'm trying to do is uh, find a radiator for it. Um, it's been a bit of a pain in the arse really. Uh, I'm pretty much struggling to find anything there. I've actually had two radiators turn up from Germany, uh, both of them wrong. Um, I've got another one coming. Uh, the, uh, it's in the post right now. It's all from all from Autodoc.co.uk. It's actually a very good site. Um, it's just trying to get the right one. Um, this car is the Initial, uh, Initial or Initial or whatever you want to call it. Um, and uh, it's got absolutely everything loaded up to the, uh, the hilt and a lot of the parts are for the lower spec cars so uh, the current radiator I hope will have the mounting points for the coolant fan um, the last radiator didn't have that um, so yeah uh, and also there's been another problem I've noticed which is basically the centering of the um, searing um, it's a little vague um, it's direct it's not vague in terms of it's uh, won't go in a direction um, there's no there's no play in the steering but uh, it doesn't return to the center so I, I have a very strong suspicion that the actual steering column is binding and it's not returning so I've actually ordered uh, a, a steering column and the steering column part goes from the top here to just under here, I've actually had this apart, having a look, and the motor for the power steering is down there as well. So, reading all about this, and a lot of Clio's have the same sort of arrangement, in fact it's virtually the same part, uh, including the motor, um, is that the actual steering, the bearings and the bushes all get gummed up and crapped up and so forth. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to take, as a temporary measure, I've actually got the part coming from Germany, I don't know when it's going to turn up because of... Brexit and all the junk this country put us through. So essentially we're going to basically try to uh, lubricate the top of the bearing here and hopefully some of that lubrication will go down in and uh, make it feel a little bit better. Um, I have no problem with the handling as such or the, um, the directness of the steering. Um, it just doesn't return. It, it's, I've actually, you can actually put the steering like that and it will stay there like that when you're driving at 70 miles an hour. Um, uh, if you pull it a little bit more, it will start to pull back on you. Um, so again, it could be the rack. Um, not sure. Um, I'll find out. Well, as I said, if I have to replace it. Again, this car's done the equivalent of 105,000 miles, so I'm not surprised that there's wear in the, uh, the steering, especially as it's lived most of its life in a city. Um, so... Yeah, I, what I'm going to do, I've actually actually disconnected the, oh, I actually took the fuse out of um, the power steering, and actually it felt a lot better, actually, uh, in, in some respects. So it's possible it's the motor, it's possible it's the gearbox itself, I'm not sure. Um, it, it certainly didn't want to return still, but it felt like the steering was heavier uh, and, wanted to, and uh, was more positive about coming back to the centre. Um, Again, no. <laughs> it could be the motor. Um, so I've got the main steering column, um, and I've also got another um, a motor on order as well. So we'll see what happens. So today is going to be basically taking this apart here, as they're taking the steering wheel off, and uh, lubricating up that those those uh, the bushes inside there, and seeing whether that helps. Let's get on with it. So. The first thing we have to do is basically undo these little bolts here. This actually holds the airbag on. And actually, I'm going to quickly disconnect the battery um, just to make sure the airbag doesn't go off. Um, and I have seen that happen. And so, yeah, we've got two um, Torx screws here, which basically do one on one side and one on the other. And that literally allows me to pop that airbag off. And so I can actually get to the nut. Right. So I've taken the airbag off. 
and again it's just a little connector it's they're quite easy to do um, uh, if you are going to take an airbag off uh, please disconnect the battery um, it takes just a few milliamps to actually fire an airbag um, and so yeah uh, it, it, just a bit of static uh, from you can actually set one of these off and uh, a potential to set it off so for safety please just disconnect the battery just a small tip um, so when you're actually taking the steering wheel off um, I said undo the nut don't take it all off and leave it there and so when you're pulling on the steering wheel rather than the steering wheel coming flying off into your face um, essentially you, it will hit that and stop you from being smacked in the nose or on the head or whatever um, I can tell you I've done this I've actually done this I've smacked myself in the face and it's not pleasant and it hurts so just a small tip there stop you from breaking your nose Right, the steering wheel's off, uh, as you can see, <laughs> uh, and I've taken all of the, the plastics and the shrouds and stuff off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up this whole area. There's actually a bolt just here, you can just see it, uh, that basically loosens up this and I can then pull this off of the shaft to get to the top of the shaft. And there we go, uh, pretty easy to do. Um, I said when I come to actually replace this uh, steering column, because the steering column only goes really down to just just below where the pedals are, and that's where it actually mounts. It's a separate unit from the top of here to there. It's not all the way through. So um, so yes, yeah, so I've got to uh, again take all of this uh, the steering lock out and and all of the um, immobilizer stuff as well. So essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically put a load of. Uh, uh, lubrication into this joint here and hopefully it will go all the way through um, hopefully it will I'm just hoping that it will uh, uh, give me some time uh, till the part from Germany arrives well it does seem to be draining away very slowly so hopefully that will do something so this could be not related and it might not be this at all it might actually be the steering rack but um, well it's worth trying so I've connected the battery back up and I want to start the car and I'm going to start turning the steering wheel back and forth um, I've actually uh, let's try and get this thing oh there we go I've actually been putting lots of oil in there and actually creating a little uh, uh, sort of bath of oil at the bottom of the bearing um, so that when I turn it, I've already turned it a few times already. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit more in. Um, so essentially, as I'm turning, um, the bottom part of the bearing here, uh, if you can see, it's very difficult to see. Yeah, so essentially the bottom part of the bearing there is actually bathed in oil. And as I'm turning the steering, uh, it should actually start lubricating this whole bearing up. So... Let's just fill this right up. There we go. That's as far as I can go with it. Um, so let's put the steering back on. There we go. Start the engine. And then... And... lubricate the whole joint and hopefully some of that will go through the actual um, uh, through the sh uh, between the bearing and the shaft uh, actually it's difficult for you to see but through the bearing and, and the shaft down through the column and and pull up at the other bearing at the other end and fill up that and then lubricate that one that's the theory anyway Right. Oh yeah, that's that's gone down. That's gone down, and I said there is a little seepage from there, which is fine, but nowhere near. It's definitely, um, uh, it, it's definitely uh, the the oil is definitely going through. Now it could come, it go, could go through to the other end and cause problems there. But actually, I'm replacing the the, the whole steering column part, the top part. So, so yeah, I'm just gonna. 
fill it back up again. This is the last one. Um, let's just put that on there. And yeah, I'm gonna do this a few more times and then I'm gonna start putting this back together again. So the main parts of the common column are all back in place. Uh, I'm just gonna disconnect the battery again uh, so I can fit to the steering wheel and the airbag. All right, steering wheel's back on. Um, so I'm just gonna put all of the trim underneath there. because I had that out last night. Um, and yeah, uh, let's uh, button this up and uh, go for a test drive. Right, well the steering is better. Um, it's returning a little bit better than it was. Um, it's still a little vague, um, so it's possible that it's either the motor or the gearing for the uh, power steering. Uh, it could be stiff and something's going on. It could be the rack as well. Um, this is purely a, uh, a, an attempt to try and see whether I can make it better. Um, yeah, it's definitely returning better. It's still got a little bit of vagueness here and because the steering is so direct that makes the car turn. It's very direct on this little car. Um, but yeah, we've got definitely got more centering going on. Um, so yes. Well, thanks for watching um, and I'll see you on the next video.